What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to Dystopian World Games. I'm your host, Levi Red. Got some mail in today, so we gotta go through that here in a minute. I just want to let everybody know it's been a long. It's only like the second week of March, but it's been a long month. I, for those that don't know, I had to get a surgery done last month. It completely knocked me down. And then the pain medication on top of that, I was just down for a minute. But I want to let everybody know, I'm not stopping. I'm not slowing. I'm just trying to prioritize everything so I can deliver to you the viewer the most entertainment possible this is a Johnny I'm a parent so if there's any ever, ever any gaps in my content then I mean you guys could probably understand I know a lot of the content creators are parents too so you know uh, got this mail what else did I want to get out today uh, yeah I'm working with a couple other content creators if you guys know me on Facebook on Twitter you'll probably have seen that I'm working with stacks rocksman of scoop phase MTG at the moment there's a contest going on for how many uh, subscribers his fan base can acquire his Facebook page so I'm involved in that and I'm hoping by the time March is up and like if I win this thing I get a booster box and as soon as that booster box gets this way I'll be throwing it out like I played enough call time game so I like to give something back to the community that support me this far that's, that's a big part of this right here I got, I don't know if you guys can tell, there's names on these envelopes, I got four in hand, I got two or three more over there on the shelf, but my wife would not let me send them out to who they belong to without her own personalized touch, and like she does writing, she does stuff a lot better than I do, so hopefully by the end of the week I'll have stuff going out to a lot you know a few different people man I want to give big shout outs to my support circle right now because without you guys man, it's, it's been rough like I said man it's been a long month <sighs> let's go uh, man car drummer J dude you have been imperative in my growth over the last couple months man just your correspondence and you know being 100% with the dude, you know, that goes a long way, like, you're so real, Luke over at 570 Gamings, man, you're doing it, so congrats to everything you've succeeded on so far, and I can only hope to help, oh man, DJ Longhair, go check him out, he's doing mad giveaways right now, I don't know why, his, uh, channel hasn't grown as exponentially as you know some other content creators because that dude's always giving stuff away like right here I got some stuff from DJ to open oh man Dr. Cause like he's been looking out for me for the last couple weeks so man I appreciate that I can't say enough about that Matt Ellis cracking packs MTG man he's doing it I can't believe it I was watching him when he was first starting I believe in the back end of 2019 and since then he's acquired over 8,000 or close to 8,000 followers on his YouTube so man that's amazing that is so impressive that gives me hope as a content creator, I, I don't know what the trick is, but we're going to see. We're going to get there one way or the other. Oh, man. Who else? Clever Magic Trevor. The Clever Magic community. Check them out. Dave, Josh, Trevor. They're in Season 3, I believe, of the CMC League, which is pretty much a head-to-head -head pack battle over a six-week course where total values are determined and whoever would like 
it's not even just his first, second, third, man. Like fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. I'm pretty sure everybody walks home with something. So you guys go check that out, cause Trevor's on top of his game. And man, he's less than an hour away from me. I don't know why I haven't got around to seeing him yet. Leo, Palace of the Void. I've been working with him closely and he just dropped his first video this morning. So if you guys want to check that out, it was me and him doing a sealed game of chaos. Not last weekend, I believe it was the weekend prior, but it didn't get released till today. I mean, these things happen. Uh, yeah, check him out. Pause Brown, man. I haven't been able to watch too much lately. So many wheels in motion right now, but man, mad love. Jesus. You're doing it, man. I mean, I guess we all get there eventually to where it's so hard for us to respond to everybody in an orderly fashion. But, thanks for the support, bro. Like, I feel that love, man. Let's get into these packages here, man. I don't want to waste too many too many people's time. Dilly dying. I'm gonna put DJ Longhair stuff right here because I know there's some fire in it. But I wanted to show off something that I picked up on a TCG player over the last week. And for those that didn't see my last video, I acquired a decent collection of like dude's whole collection and. It has some spicy stuff in there, man. But I'm going to let y'all figure that out on your own. Go check that video out. That was posted... I want to say Saturday or Sunday. Peep. There's fire in it. Now, here we got... Like, these are just cards that... You know, like, I'll, every now and then I'll go to... TCG player and see what's hot, what's not. Sometimes I'll go to MTG Stock. See what's, you know, what's going. Like, I love picking up all-time lows off of the TCG player list because you know like these are cards that kind of got overshadowed by something or other but they're still good man you gotta keep an eye on them because you never know stuff comes back so right here ooh, I gotta put that one down that's the last one I'm really happy about picking that one up but we got redeem the lost Man, this backlight's killing me. Game the lost. That's an instant. Target creature you control gains protection. You, you, you know, I might be, like, just given the fact that this backlight's knocking me down, man. Yeah. yeah, there's not a lot of super fire in here. It's just stuff that I enjoy. I'd rather see what long DJ had for me, man. But I definitely wanted to show these cards off. So I'm going to actually see if knocking these lights out will help. Check this out. We got the Mirari. I believe it was originally printed in Odyssey. That's the set that had the Mirari as its marker. It's an artifact that lets you copy spells. I'm a spell slinger. I love RDW. I love just fast smash decks. So I'm definitely incorporating that probably into my pay room. Is it pay room deck? So yeah. If anybody plays spell table, sorry, I haven't got around to that yet. It takes a lot of setup that I am not prepared for at the moment. But I mean, I'm getting there. Y'all, let's check this out though. A little history needs to go into this before I reveal it because back in 98 maybe it was 99 my brother and I acquired a collection from a dude that was living in a camper on his mom's property um, my bro little brother Panama man he's the one that showed me magic the gathering and you know I always have like little nerds and uh, it's like started playing the game with him man he picked up portal I think on his birthday that year and he needed somebody to play with, so I sat down and played some cards with him. And then, you know, a couple day, a couple years down the road, we we're my dad was doing a job for this lady and her son, living in the camper, had a whole collection of magic cards. So me and my brother worked. We helped him paint a motel, 
ended up with a whole bunch of cards. Beautiful cards. I'm talking about everything from Unlimited. Maybe there was some beta in there too. I, it's been so long. But my favorite card in that entire collection was this guy right here. Silken Arm Swamp King. Why was I so attracted to this guy when I was younger? Because he had just that demon's look, man. If you drop him on the battlefield, who wants to fight that guy? He was more intimidating to me when I was, you know, 12, 13 years old, but he's still pretty intimidating. He's a 5-drop Swamp Walk, 5-5, five, five, whenever a player plays Black Spell, I gain a life. That last ability doesn't do too much unless you're putting him in a mono black shell, but I mean, Swamp Walk. When you have Urborg out, he pretty much walks over the entire table. Now, let's see what DJ hooked it up with, man. Like, I remember it was a live stream he did a couple weeks back, and numbers were rolled, cards were won. And I do believe I got something in here for my guy Leo as well, so. Okay. Damn. Yeah. The Leoness. So, I don't get this stuff confused. And, your boy, the dystopian world game. For those that don't know, I used to have an alias, but I mean, I try not to mention too much of that because that has to deal with my dark past and... I was always known as, oh boy, because, surprise, you know, you never see me jump in but, dang, I didn't see this coming, so, I think this is Leo right here, I'm gonna set this over to the side, man, I'm gonna, ooh, this even got frosty writing on it, man, he hooks it up, like, he signs his lands, he actually got me into signing the lands now, so, now we got a nice, you like, don't know if you guys can see the signature, but beautiful snow-covered island says so stay awesome. That's DJ, you're my guy, man. <laughs> you're my guy. I want to do for more for you. Oh, well, got another one of these. This one's in black, so you can read it. Narthy boy. Another new alias, I suppose. Man, I've grabbed like three or four aliases over the last couple months, man, so I'm trying, having a hard time figuring out which one I want to be. Stacks called me Omega Red, and I was like, why, do I, why is that familiar? Omega Red was uh, Arkady, uh, I can't remember his last name. It was, Omega, it was Omega Red in the Marvel comic books. He had, uh, he was one of the only mutants that could go head to head with Wolverine. Man. Let's see here we got Foil, Ondu Inversion. Oh! And on these sky ruins. I've never looked at that card before. That's probably gonna have to go somewhere. Got a showcase Vega Watcher. I like the owl. Kaikar. The Wind's Fury. Beautiful, beautiful altar of dementia. Kaya's Wrath. My wife will like that one. Thank you. Tiana, Ship's Caretaker. Gargos, Vicious Watcher. Bounty of Might. These are the, like, I remember him doing this. He was just flipping cards over. He's like, that's not hot, that's not hot, that's not hot. Oh, that's hot. It's like, Quasi duplicate, man. So, like, I got a good handful of stuff. This is actually a cool card. I think he kind of undersold this one. Garrick's Harbinger. I needed another copy of that for the Garrick uh, theme deck I've got. So, got a nice foil. Oop. Mythos of Snap Decks. And another little chunk of cards right here. Just foils. Man. Yeah, see, I'm getting something out here, DJ, man. Like, this is cool, man. Yeah, man, these four. I can't stand the way that they pringle up, but I mean, we got Cole the Forge Master. And a bunch of other stuff, but. For my eyes only. 
I think that'll about do it right now. Sounds like my boy, he wants some attention too, so I'm going to wish you guys the rest of a great day. I'm going to work on getting some of this stuff out in the mail. And until next time, this is Levi Red with Dystopian World Games.